Environment Canada Keynote Address Established synchronization A new perspective I live in a computer-mediated world and for many years I have shared my personal experiences with people over the internet so that anybody on the internet can look through my eyes and see and experience my computer-generated world and modify my visual perception of reality as a way of communicating with me. So when my daughter had her first birthday I naturally captured this experience and was able to share that online on the internet and communicate and interact with people immediately. Capturing and sharing everyday experiences. Computers were traditionally once about calculations. In the old days, you know, you had, you had computers that were designed for adding up numbers and doing calculations and so on. Uh, but I had a, a different vision and that, that would be uh, computers were used for doing communications, much more like the telephone rather than the calculator. And so I envisioned that we'd have a new world in which computers were bringing people together. The history of wearable computers. Professor Mann first invented wearable computing in the 1970s, building the first wearable computers for computer-aided photography. It was in the 1980s that Professor Mann's wearable computers began a cyber fashion movement in Toronto. In 1991, Steve Mann brought his work to MIT. It's, 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 it's a very, very different time for us. I think it's probably one of the best examples we have of where somebody brought with them an extraordinarily interesting seed. And then it sort of, you know, it grew. And there are many people now, so-called cyborgs in the media lab, and uh, people working on wearable computers all over the place. Professor Mann is now a faculty member at the University of Toronto in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Throughout his work, Professor Mann has been continuously wearing his inventions, using them in everyday life. ITAP Technology For over the last 30 years, I've been designing, building, inventing, and wearing these kinds of computer systems that modify the visual perception of reality. Unlike virtual reality, in which uh, the view of the world is blocked, and you, you, you see only a synthetic world, Virtual reality is like a blindfold. It blocks us from seeing the real world and synthesizes completely. Mediated reality, on the other hand, modifies what we see. And in so doing, it forms a role of being a device to communicate. Graphics is all about communications. We live in a world of graphics. I think that at the heart of everything is imaging, graphics, and rendering. Other applications. Many of the concepts that I've created in designing these eyeglasses in terms of rendering computer-mediated worlds are also applicable to, to other areas such as gaming and things that have nothing to do with wearable computing. For example, this textbook describes new ways of light space rendering and light vectors, comparometric equations, and other concepts. Quantigraphic imaging provides a way of rendering the way that subject matter responds to light. Rendering the way that subject matter responds to light provides new ways of understanding the world computationally and this provides new rendering possibilities. We are using the GPU for general purpose computation and using the GPU as a general purpose computer. So the GPU becomes the heart of the whole system. This is at the intersection of three different kinds of devices that we wear. We have computation, communication, and imaging. And in a sense that cell phones, pagers, pocket organizers, uh, they communicate wirelessly and there's computation, you know, not the uh, traditional computation of large mainframe computers, but rather the small portable organizers and wristwatch computers and things that we carry. And then of course there's imaging, the portable digital imaging market, digital photography, those sorts of things are catching on quite a bit. And the devices that I in envisioned, designed, built, invented 30 years ago uh, sort of fall at this intersection of those three areas. Mm -hmm.